First person singular. The views expressed in this piece are those of the writer. Jason Scores offers clarification on the Israel-Gaza situation. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is one of the most complex and fraught on the entire world stage. And there is no doubt that a significant number of Democrats and people on the left are upset with Biden's handling of the current Israeli-Gaza phase of this decades-long conflict. The anger and frustration largely come from a good place, in that people don't like seeing Palestinian civilians being killed in such large numbers by a much more powerful military. However, there are some key points that everyone should keep in mind as we approach Election Day 2024. These are, one, Israel has a right to exist and defend itself. Israel is not a settler colonial state, and the state has as much right to exist as the dozens of other states around the world whose boundaries were drawn by colonial powers and whose birth came about through conflict. Two, Hamas is primarily responsible for the Gaza war, and its clearly genocidal program is the root problem of the current conflict. Three, Netanyahu is the worst leader in Israeli history, and he's making the situation much worse. The sooner he is replaced, the better it will be for everyone in the region. Four, Biden is doing a lot for the Palestinians and helping to temper the worst elements of the far right in Israel, including passing $9 billion in assistance for the Palestinians and targeting the settler extremists in the West Bank. Five, Holding Biden responsible for Israelis' actions and threatening to weaken his electoral position and thereby increase the likelihood of traitor Trump winning is utter madness and must be resisted. There are legitimate ways to express disagreement, but increasing the likelihood of a fascist America is not one of them. Jason Scores teaches public policy in the Monterey Bay area. For First Person Singular, this is Lori Korn.